Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Professor Bumblebee. Today, we are going to talk about type 1 diabetes. Diabetes is all about the balance you have to find with insulin, food and exercise so that your blood glucose levels don't go too high or too low. To understand type 1 diabetes, it's very important that we also understand how our body works. With the help of my little assistant, Kara, I'm going to explain this to you. Kara, my dear. First, we are going to go on a journey through the juiciest part of the human body and find out what happens when we eat. The human body is made up of millions and millions of cells. These body cells give us the energy to move, grow and think. <laughs> Let me show you. Look closely and you can see the cells of the body. Like putting fuel in your car, the cells need energy. Mm -hmm. Once we eat our food, we give our cells the fuel they need. <laughs> now things are getting really interesting. Come, Kara, and stand behind my special screen. <laughs> Let's have a look at what happens to food once you swallow it. Your mouth is for talking and chewing. So, bite your apple now, Kara, and start chewing. <laughs> like a slippery slide, the food goes down a long tube that joins with... Yeah, you've guessed it! The stomach! Your stomach turns your solid food into mushy food. The stomach then links up with the small intestine and it loops around and around. This is where the food gets really mushy. The small intestine turns the food into other, even smaller things. And one of these things is glucose. Now, remember the cells need food? Well, the glucose is what they need. Glucose comes from certain types of food called carbohydrates, such as bread, pasta or milk, and many other things that you will learn about. Next up for the glucose is the bloodstream. The bloodstream is like a road map in your body. Blood carries all sorts of things, including the glucose. The blood is very busy carrying glucose all around the body. <laughs> oh my, it is thick and gluggy in there. When the pancreas sees the glucose coming, it starts to make insulin. But what did I hear you say? Pancreas? Insulin? Ah, my goodness me, I forgot all about that. I guess we'll have to go back to the stomach again. Mm -hmm. There it is, the pancreas hiding behind the stomach. <laughs> One of the important things the pancreas makes is insulin. Insulin and glucose travel together all around the body. Insulin is like a key, unlocking the doors of our body cells to let the glucose in. Look at the cell loving that glucose. Let's have a look again and see if the body cells are happy. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> They've got all the glucose. With all that energy, the cells help us to do whatever we like to do, like thinking, walking, playing, jumping, skipping, swimming, hopping, <laughs> and having fun. Now, Kara, your doctor tells you that you have type 1 diabetes. I know you feel worried, but with insulin injections and exercise, you can be as healthy as other children and keep doing all the things you've always done. <laughs> but I can hear you asking, how did I get diabetes? Type 1 diabetes happens when the pancreas stops making insulin. When this happens, there are no keys to unlock the doors to your cells, so then they can't get the glucose they need. Your body cells are going hungry. <laughs> That's why you felt so very tired. What else happened when you first got diabetes? Well, 
You lost a lot of weight. <laughs> you are also very thirsty and drank a lot of water. Drinking a lot of water made you go to the toilet more often. This was because the glucose in your bloodstream had nowhere to go, except to stay in your bloodstream, so your kidneys had to help out. Your kidneys took the glucose out of your bloodstream and into your urine. And that's why you wanted to go to the toilet so much. The treatment of diabetes is insulin injections, making sure that you eat healthy food and stay very active. Also, you'll need to check that your blood glucose levels stay mostly within the normal range. Insulin injections are really important. When you have the injection, your body gets the insulin it needs. You'll feel the needle a little bit at first, but it won't last long. When you're little, a grown-up will give you your injection. You see how the insulin goes through the needle? Oh, you're going to feel much better with all that insulin in your body, ready to do its work. <laughs> One of the best places to give your insulin is in your tummy. But not in the same spot every day. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get a lumpy bit there. There are some other important things you should know, like hypoglycemia. Oh dear, what a big word! <laughs> Hypoglycemia, or hypo for short, happens when your blood glucose level drops too low. If you're having a hypo, you might feel sweaty, shaky, dizzy, and hungry. <laughs> you may even have a headache or feel like crying. When you feel like this, quickly drink or eat something sweet and then Eat something else straight away to stop the hypo from coming back. Remember to check your blood glucose level again to make sure that you're feeling better. And always tell a grown-up when you have a hypo. Hypos can be caused by lots of different things like exercise, without eating extra carbohydrates or skipping meals. They can also be caused by having too much insulin. Remember, it's very important that you wear or carry something to say you have diabetes. Also try to remember to carry something to eat with you at all times, in case you have a hypo. Sometimes your blood glucose levels can become too high. This may be caused by lots of different things, like your insulin dose is too low, or you forgot to take your insulin injection. Eating more than usual or not being active enough. Getting sick. Or getting upset or stressed about things. If your blood glucose levels are high, you need to test your blood or urine for something called ketones. Ketones are a warning that things are out of balance and you need extra insulin. Ask your doctor or diabetes educator about this. Now, Cara, my dear, I'm going to introduce some very important people to you. They are going to help you with your diabetes. First, your doctor, who will help you with managing your diabetes. Next, <laughs> your diabetes educator, who will teach you all about the day-to-day -day care of your diabetes. Your dietitian, who will help you understand healthy eating. Together with you, Kara, we will make an excellent team for managing your diabetes. Remember, you are not alone. Come now, Kara. After today's work, we need a break, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs>